Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen, thank you for being here, and uh, thank you all for your service to our country. General Wyatt, we've had some discussions in the past, and um, I was hoping you could provide us with your best professional military opinion on the issue of replacing F-16 Block 30 fighter jets within the Air National Guard. I understand that the Air Force has always stated their commitment to ensuring that the Air National Guard has the iron necessary to perform critical missions. However, has the Air Force presented you with a formal plan uh, for dealing with the timeline and the numbers that you can expect to recapitalize your fighters over the next five to ten years? And I, and I ask this question because I believe uh, you don't have a plan unless it's on paper. So people can talk about a lot of different things, but that changes. And uh, this committee, I think, really needs to have a better understanding of the path going forward because as we enter a new climate of defense spending, uh, we really need to understand the justification for decisions before they happen, not after they happen. And additionally, as the F-35 keeps slipping to the right, I think this is going to have a huge effect on swapping out our aging Air National Guard fighters. And I, I'd really appreciate your comments on this. Thank you, sir. Um, you know, we, we have had a, a discussion before about the, the age of the Block 30s, uh, F-16s in the Air National Guard. Um, the Air Force has committed some money for structural uh, sustainment that will uh, buy two to three more years of life. But uh, you're, you're correct. In the next uh, 10 years, uh, these aircraft will age out. Some of them will start aging out before then. Uh, there are a lot of different options. Uh, flow down of Block 40 F-16s, flow down of Block 50 F-16s from the active component to the guard as the F-35 is bedded down on active duty, bedding down the active duty with F-35s uh, uh, in those units that performed uh, uh, ACA so that they could do not only the air sovereignty, the aerospace control alert mission, but also the AEF rotations overseas as they do. Um, but I think your question went to, has the Air Force shown you a written plan that shows you the numbers of aircraft, the types of aircraft in the years that they will flow to the Air National Guard to replace the old Block 30 F-16s? Is that your question? Yes, sir. The answer is no, sir, they have not. I have not seen that plan yet. Um, so uh, th this is this kind of trouble. Have you, um, have you requested, have you made a request for a formal plan? Yes, sir, I, I have. Um, we began requesting um, a couple of years ago uh, when I first, uh, well, a little over two years ago when I first uh, uh, became the director, and we have been making some progress. Uh, I've seen some, some uh, general uh, plans, but nothing that would show uh, me, for example, uh, how many jets may be coming to the Air National Guard in the next three or four years to replace uh, an aging out aircraft. That's the type of detail that we would really need to be able to go forward to determine whether or not we are going to be recapitalized, but I have not seen that plan yet, sir. Well, um, Mr. Chairman, I, you, you've been good on this, uh, Chairman Bartlett, and I would, um, uh, I'd like to think that this is a critical issue for, um, for the entire committee, but especially this subcommittee, and that uh, I would hope, um, Mr. Chairman, that we could find ways to um, address directly with the Air Force leadership. Um, we've been posing this question now for a number of years. Um, we keep getting a sort of a dodge and weave on this, and uh, at a certain point, we're going to run out of time to be able to make accommodations if we need to do that. Um, I think it's critical, given the integration that the Air Guard has had with the full Air Force, uh, what they're doing being deployed in the war against terrorism. And um, I, would, I would hope I could work with you directly on this matter to get a more substantial answer that we could put our arms around and decide whether they actually have a plan or they're just giving a slip service. Thank you very much. I concur with your concerns and I'll be happy to join you in a uh, uh, request for uh, clarification of, of this to the appropriate people. Thank you very much. Thank you.